Hello and a welcome! My name is Ajax Post and you join me once again in Computer Tycoon! And we ended up, at the end of the last episode, in a very good position. Comparatively, at least. Um, I still only have 2.32% of the global computer sales market. But then again, I'm playing on hard mode and I do believe that my competitors have a, a significant advantage over me in terms of costs and prices and stuff and possibly even ability who knows but as you can see i am making good progress i have substantially improved my position over the last uh, year or so in game uh, a number of these countries you can see are lovely and green which means i am the dominant player in those countries although rather annoyingly my home base my factory location the bahamas which is this tiny little group of islands here um i have Actually, that's not too bad. I'm second by the look of that pie chart. Yeah, it's not mine anymore. Everyone has piled in there to sell their computers because of the new um, mechanism in the game that once someone buys a license into a particular market, a country, then it is cheaper for everyone else to buy into it. It goes down, or the price goes down incrementally uh, by a fair chunk, actually, uh, for each person who buys, or each company that buys into that marketplace. So it pays to follow somebody else in. Uh, if you can. So that's what I've been doing and making quite successful. In fact, it's too successful. I am currently producing, I think I'm actually at maximum capacity, even in Ghana, which is my more expensive factory site. Yeah, that one. Every well, I've got two factories producing at maximum. I'm still 40,000 uh, below the number I could actually sell. So I do need more factory. And that was the dilemma we faced at the very end of the last episode is what do I do now? I could increase my factory costs by upgrading the factory here in Ghana to give me another 90,000 a day, which would certainly, uh, yes, it would give me another 90,000 a day, which would certainly cover that uh, shortfall there. But Ghana is quite an expensive place to, to produce because as you can see here, I don't get any bonuses uh, like I do in the Bahamas. If we go into the factory there, I get, yeah, because labour is cheap in the Bahamas. Um, so I, that's a much cheaper place to build. And I would like to put my factories in cheap places to build. I mean, that makes sense. Even Dyson does it. <laughs> Even well-known international brands decide to, uh, to abandon their home countries and go and produce their goods in foreign places. Uh, but enough of the politics, let's get into this. So the choice was really to massively increase the capacity of this Bahamas factory, uh, which would cost me two and a half million, uh, basically, but I would also need to build three recreation buildings or go up to level three recreation. That's marketing, that's recreation. I don't have any yet. And that would be a lot of extra money to spend uh, on providing recreation for my staff. Um, and although the increase in capacity would be enormous, yet yeah, take me up to 540,000, um, the daily cost, 280, would be, um, yeah, it would be difficult to make that back, I think. I might be able to do it, but I don't want to run the risk. So I think the best thing to do would be to find somewhere else to build a new factory. That would cost me 1.7 million. But uh, in fact, it's cheaper than upgrading this current factory. So I guess that makes a lot more sense. And again, I'd like to build it somewhere poor because that's where, you know, production is cheapest. So let's sort this into wealth order. Um, Lithuania. I don't have a factory in Europe at all yet. So uh, let's, let's go to the world map, shall we? Uh, get you out of the way. And Lithuania is up here somewhere. I'm currently a dominant player in there, so that makes kind of sense. Yep, I am. So let's build that factory there. 1.7 million. Actually, no, that's just the site. It's not the factory itself. <laughs> oh, honestly, what am I like? I keep forgetting stuff. Um, and the factory here will cost me just 100,000. Oh, that's lovely. And I get a discount on the daily costs of 50% because it's a poor country. Uh, is Lithuania. Although I only get 15,000 production points a day, so I'm still going to be a good chunk short of my needed capacity. But let's let's build that. Ooh. Right, you have three building sites, therefore to make upgrades more manageable from now on, you have a site manager screen instead of the simple site list. 
just to use the site icon at the bottom bar menu. Aha! Yes, I, I saw this mentioned in the release notes for this latest update that we've got. Uh, go away now. And once you get to three, you go here. Um, I'm not sure what this does. So that takes me there. That's okay. Uh, what can I do here? I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, no, it it doesn't look any different to what it used to be before. Your building upgrade has completed. Maybe it will. We'll look at that again, perhaps in a moment. Okay, so that's completed. Um, I now have 120 production points. And uh, can I increase that once more? I could. But let's stay with that for the time being. We're waiting on research for VLSI, which will actually reduce my costs. My you production don't have costs. enough manufacturing yes, I know, I know, capacity. I know, I know, I know. Uh, that VLSI reduces the production costs of, uh, of my computers, so that means more profit. So I could... Mm. Do you know what? Look, I'm making 91,000 a day. <laughs> this is this is beautiful. So yeah, let's go back to that. Let's go back into Lithuania and let's upgrade this factory, shall we? Upgrade you, and that'll give me ninety thousand. So that means I should cover that entire shortfall I have in production uh, between production and demand, which means I can mothball the Ghanaian factory site. I think. Uh, which will reduce my costs even more, which should improve my profitability. It all kind of makes sense. Now, talking of the VLSI research that I'm doing, we did, in the last episode, complete research of BIOS, um, but I've not created a new computer yet with that enhancement, uh, because I just wanted to sort of bundle it with the next big change. Uh, where is BIOS here? It's something to do with computing, isn't it, I think? Or memory or where is it <laughs> it's in here your building uh, upgrade has completed thank you so there's bios so if i click on that yeah that gives me all oh, 10 feature sets and 12 extra quality uh, that will give me a big jump up i think against the competition but if we look in the computer list that doesn't really tell me but if i go here to the world map again Let's go to, say, Ghana. And look here, I am top scoring in Ghana against, well, just one other company. Okay, where do I score in the Bahamas? That's where I've got lots of competition, isn't it? So if we survey our uh, Bahamas, so if, yeah, the best score is, is the brown guy. And the brown guy is Biggs Computers. Uh, so he's top score. Uh, on that, which is obviously why he's got the bulk of the marketplace in the Bahamas. But if I take him out, I'm top dog. So I am doing very well. Now, the score here is not simply the quality of your PC. Uh, it is to do with price uh, in the marketplace and meeting that market's particular demands. Uh, so it's a much more sort of nuanced, I think is the word, uh, sort of categorization. If we go into my new, my current computer, my current main computer, we can see here, yeah, I'm top dog in prestige. I think that's prestige. <laughs> Let's get the star and the diamond the wrong way around. Um, and ease of use, which is really good. Uh, so I am currently overproducing, actually, as you can see there, 195 to a demand of 122. So I need to. Let's take this factory. Don't go there. Go here. And I can mothball that factory. And how does that look? I'm still massively overproducing. So let's go to our new factory in Lithuania. Let's cut you down a little bit. So I don't want to over, overproduce by too much, even though overproducing does add to a stockpile, which I can later use when I get a new spike in demand. That's better. Good. Actually, if I build an office in here, that will give me an extra 10% discount on the factory costs. 
And I can also then also build a new logistics office, which gives me uh, more logistics points. So I can, and I've got none at the moment, which means I can expand into new markets. So in fact, let's do that as well. Okay. So how are we doing? Oh, we've lost Romania. Never mind. <laughs> I'm 2.5% of the global market, so my share is definitely going up and I'm making a lot of money at the moment. 106,000. So I might be tempted to reduce my prices to get more of that marketplace, but you know what? I'm not going to. Now, the one concern I have at the moment is that Your my... building upgrade has completed. Thank you. Is that my um, research plant in Ghana is only level one. So I'm only getting one research point from that. I could, if I increase that Your again, building upgrade has completed. Thank you. That, yeah, that cost me a fair chunk of money, 80,000 a day, um, which I think is too much really. I, that's pretty much what I'm profitable at the moment. So I don't want to do that. I'd like to create a new research site, but that will want to be in a rich country where I'll get a extra discount uh, on the research costs from there. Okay, my demand is, is petering out. Uh, it's going down a little bit, so I think reduce costs, reduce prices or reduce costs. I think let's reduce costs. So let's keep that factory down a little bit. There we go. Because I'm, I'm making a fair amount of money on this computer. Uh, in fact, let's just check what my sales are like. Uh, my old computer only selling eight a day. Mm. Uh, and my new computer selling 76. I think it might be time to mothball the old computer. A new one is on the horizon. So the 772 from 1977 costs 821 to build. It's not that much cheaper to build and it's certainly much less profitable uh, I think than 26263 oh uh, uh, actually no 159 was that more, more profitable or less profitable oh it's more profitable <laughs> okay oh because I have a less discount on it I, I'm, I'm still going to archive it I think it's time to take that one off the market so this is the 77, get rid of you. Okay, we're well, selling so few. Uh, okay, right, demand has dropped a lot. So let's take our price down a little bit, shall we? If I do it on this screen, I can immediately see the effect on profits. Okay, I'm making a substantially less profit here. I'm not selling to the filthy rich, which is interesting. Again, maybe I'm not meeting their particular demands. Oh dear, yes, sales have dropped a lot. I'm going to need that new computer soon, I think. So let's take that factory down. Whoa, yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm not making any money at all, really. So, oof. do we cut prices further? Oh, I, I think demand, yeah, I think demand has gone for that. So let's uh, get out of there. We've uh, closed down all our factories, basically, which means I'll sell out of the stockpile, which is obviously cheaper to do. <laughs> uh, if, I, if I take that right down, so the demand is currently 60,000, so it's uh, less than half of what it was earlier in the year. I'm still making a good amount of money because we're selling out of our stockpile, which is handy to have. Research is very nearly finished. Once that's done, we'll get on to building our new computer. You have researched a new technology. Thank you so much, which will take us once again, leaps and bounds ahead of our competition. So, uh, actually, let's look at this technology. So the BIOS, is used uh, in... You're not going to tell me. You should tell me here. Oh, motherboard. It does. It's in bold, you silly man. Motherboards and circuits. The VLSI, I think. Oh, 
applies to pretty much everything. Manufacturing, VLSI, there it is. Yeah, CPU, motherboards, memory, and video cards. We don't have graphics yet. Uh, our next research, the compositor chip, uh, will start leading us into producing proper graphics for our computers. So we need to design some new hardware. And we'll start with the CPU. So let's take you. We'll copy you. Uh, we're still on the 4040 main chip. Um, we'll call this B for budget. I'm not going to charge that much less for it, but I am going to, uh, it's going to cost me much less to produce. Notice these figures here, the needed PP and the equals drops quite nicely, which is a saving for me. Now, does that mean I can increase the base clock? Okay, I can't use the multiplier or cache yet because the technology I've got doesn't allow for that. But if I take that up a little bit, which improves... Well, you have to take it up quite a lot to improve the performance figures here, so there's probably no real benefit in doing that here. No, so we will leave that at around 241. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a decreasing cost, so that's that's fair enough. So we've got you, uh, the motherboard. Okay, and the latest motherboard is this one. And we'll copy you. And we will call you one uh, with BIOS. I'm very imaginative, as you can see, in my component naming. Look at that. Big increases in these numbers. Excellent. And reduction in cost. Uh, the quality. Let's take that up to 5% and the feature set. Okay. Again, should give me a little bit of an extra boost against the competition. We'll create you. Uh, the memory, I think we can improve as well. We can. Again, we'll just call this one B for budget. Add the VLSI in. Uh, can I increase this at all? Oh, this does make a significant difference. So, uh, capacity. Oh, let's increase that as well. Let's take that. Let's double that to, to 30. Okay. I probably haven't saved much. It may, may even now cost more, but what the heck? It's a bigger and better option. Uh, input device, storage display. I don't have a video card as yet, so that's excellent. So our new computer. We're going to base this on our previous latest and greatest model. So we will copy that design and we'll call this one. Uh, what year is this? It's 79 still, so our second model of 1979. That's impressive. Well done, Phoenix computers. Someone can't spell BIOS. Good grief. <laughs> okay, we'll keep the same accessories, keyboard and printer. Our memory, though, is going to be our latest one. Actually, if we compare... This, this doesn't... Oh, it does give me the costs. So it's a little bit cheaper. I wanted to double-click it on that side, and it adds it in. The CPU... Uh, again, it's cheaper to produce. That's good. Uh, Mobo. Uh, this one, oh, it does cost more. But look at that feature set improvement and that uh, quality improvement. That's definitely worth it. And that was it, I think. Just those three components, wasn't it? So we need to create this prototype. Your new computer model went well, into the testing phase. Well, I don't need to, phase. but it will be better because it will add extra prestige and quality to it. Okay, my demand is, is still slipping away. I'm down to 2.45% of the global market, but I'm making a modest amount of money still, so that's fine. Uh, actually, I've got two LPs, logistics points, so I could move into another country, couldn't I? Let's actually have a look at where I can go. Uh, so what I want to do is find somewhere new and we'll sort these by cost as usual so uh, where can I go Namibia five million people Ooh, yes now my let's 
double check against my last my current computer is not selling to oh I am selling to the rich now okay so I could go for rich I certainly have been selling to the ordinary rich it's just a filthy rich um, I hadn't previously been selling many to so we could do that so we could go uh, what am I looking at here uh, yeah again I've, I don't want to spend the two LP on my, oh, if I send sell to, Mar to Marley that's 15 million people I could probably never keep up with uh, with that amount of demand on the assumption that they did want my computers and of course they would my computers are great uh, we're at Ethiopia we're doing a lot in Africa actually um, features and quality uh, is what I'm really going to excel in I think now so Ecuador or Sweden Actually, Sweden looks like an interesting choice. It's a good sized market. It's relatively inexpensive at uh, three and a half million. Yeah. And they quite like some of the features that I'm currently sort of focused on. Okay. So let's buy a license to go into Sweden. Okay. Now, because I've got a logistics discount. Uh, that price is discounted even further, so it's just two and a half million. Oh, that's easy peasy. That, that's taking sweets from a baby. And my demand has rocketed. Excellent. So if we go back into the Bahamas, let's increase the production of my factory. Your new computer model is polished. Okay, the computer mo new computer is ready for sale. Okay, so how does it compare? So that's our old one. Our 1107, 830, and our new one. Oh, there's no difference. There's a negli negligible difference between the amount it costs in dollars and the amount of production power I need. Uh, this, this is impressive. I could sell it for the same price, but I'm not going to. I'm going to sell it for a premium. Uh, if we go in here and we could sell it for 339 3349 which should be hugely profitable okay although prestige and ease of use I am on the right computer aren't I uh, I always make this mistake yes I am <laughs> yes okay let's market you Oh, 170 sold in the foot. Look at that. My demand is over 200,000. <laughs> right, let's get our factories pumping this stuff out. Uh, and Lithuania. Okay. And even Ghana, I think. I can bring you into the equation. That will increase costs slightly. Well, let's get the game running. Oh, okay. I'm down below. 200,000 but that's still grand <laughs> oh I like this I like being successful it's good right um, do you know what I, 200 uh, I did you see that that was very briefly two hundred thousand dollars profit that day um, okay uh, what I want to do then where am I let's have a look at Lithuania Oh, you're still a poor country. I, I, I want to improve research. I really do. I really do. And doing it in here. I could do it in here, actually. It'll cost me 80000 a day. And it's cheaper at this point than going into a new site. Which I think actually would cost me more because I think the cost of new sites goes up yes to, actually it's not by that much it was 1700 I say 1.7 million and now it's only 2 million so I could go there I could 
I could indeed. But I oh, get, do I want? How much is that cost to me? That's cost me six. That would be, I think, yeah. In terms of ongoing costs, because I've got money in the bank, I can afford the capital cost of going in there. So let's do that. Let's go into Guinea. Okay, we're in Guinea. And we are going to build a research centre. See, I get a 30% discount on that immediately because it's a filthy rich country. I'm not quite sure what difference there is <laughs> in this in this site list now that I've gone to, upgrade has completed. to three sites. Thank you. Um, so I thought you were able to see and select your buildings from here. Am I looking at the wrong? Ah, building site list. That's the markets, of course, you plonk. There, aha. Yes, this, this, oh, this is the building site manager. This is nice. This is brand new in the latest update, which was a few months ago now, to be honest. But, oh, yes, so I, I can control things from here, can I? Right, so I could reduce my manufacturing in Ghana from... I can! It's a bit tiny, but then you do have control over the windows here, the, the scalers for the windows. Uh, but that affects, obviously, all the windows. So making this one... Um, bigger, more readable, would obviously make the others much too big, really. So, ah, this this is... I like this a lot. Um, yes, you've only got sliders on research and manufacturing. So that's that's fine. Uh, and I'm still making 100,000 a day. I could reduce the Ghanaian output, I think, to that. Yeah, and still make lots of money. Uh, Lithuania. Oh, no, I can't. I'm selling over to oh, three, 300,000 people. Oh, there's a demand for 300, nearly 300. It's now down to 272,000. <laughs> 330,000 profit a day. Okay, um, this, this is getting silly now. I'm going to have to start uh, doing real work in terms of um, expanding the marketplace, uh, going into new countries. Uh, I, look at this. This this is good. So we've got Guatemala, we've got uh, Guinea, Ghana, Somalia, Romania, we've got Romania back, Lithuania, we've got Sweden. Uh, I keep forgetting we're over here in Thailand, uh, Lesotho. It's a very pale green, but it's such a small market. It doesn't. Put, there's yeah. There's a slight issue with that because it's such a small population. Uh, yeah, three hundred thousand as opposed to many millions in the other countries. The Bahamas. I've got the Bahamas back. Now that is good news. <laughs> I think on this shot here. Uh, let's click on that. Look at that. The market share for. Uh, yeah, for the Bahamas is don't don't it's, it just it likes, to, it likes to keep on going. <laughs> that that's impressive. I'm now at six point nine seven of the total computer global sales. Uh, so oh, and how we've just passed into a new year. So I can do my typical end of episode roundup by looking at the stats. Oh, that's handy. I was just going to end it there, saying I've had a really good year, and I have had a really good year in nineteen seventy nine. One point seven million in profit. Sales were, oh, that is, a, that is a very nice slope. I'm very happy with that. My customers, uh, my top markets, Thailand. Okay, I've not been paying attention to the sales numbers in, in individual markets, but uh, yep, that's good. Uh, do any of, Thailand. Okay, in terms of global markets, um, Thailand, one of mine, does appear on that list, which is good. I always like to be on this list as well, because it means I'm, Really competing with the competing with the competitor AI companies. Uh, the economy level of my buyers is mostly average. 
Ooh, and rich. I am still I am selling to the filthy rich as well. Compared to the global economy. Uh, mostly poverty. Okay. Um, and poor. Right, so I'm selling to a different group of people by the look of it, which, which is fine, actually, which is fine. Uh, market share. Uh, I, it's difficult to tell here on the line graph, but I am. Yeah, I'm in amongst this mix at the bo bottom here. Obviously, the blue guy, Afari Solutions, is well ahead of the market. He's, he's got half of the whole world sewn up, basically. But that is no longer a sliver. That is a recognisable slice of pie. And actually better than Dator and Brutal. I'm better than some other companies. And better than Forsha Chips by the look of it as well. Though looking at this, it's difficult to tell from that line graph. It'd be nice if we could zoom into that. But, you know, it is what it is. At least I've got the pie so I can look at that. Preferences. Uh, I should be able to pay more attention to this. But I don't, don't I'm afraid. <laughs> but that... I think, uh, let's we finish up? We'll finish on this one, because I like that number. In 1980, we've already made so much profit, but... Oh, no! The final figures are in for 1979. 10 million in profit. That's impressive. I like that. Now, do I finish on that? Or that? Because I just like seeing the Bahamas is back where it belongs, under my domination. But there you are. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Computer Tycoon. If you have, it'll be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs up button. Even better though, if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, hints or tips are always welcome. Anything to say, even criticism of what I'm doing, if I'm getting things wrong, or praise for finally understanding and getting it right. <laughs> Anything at all, just drop it into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Uh, and of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you can do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.